I'm nervous about limiting myself. That is the number one challenge that people have when it comes to niching. That's their number one objection. And I'm gonna tell you, I know, I understand, and that's, that's just, that is the nature of us. We don't wanna limit ourselves. But the truth is, you're actually limiting yourself when you cast a very wide net and work with everybody. No one wants to work with someone who's working with everybody and who doesn't understand their needs. If you could at a minimum, like I said, choose three niches. Okay, don't limit yourself, just test it. Try it on three different people, three different niches and go test it. Own that niche. Pretend that you are the expert. Be specialized in your field and watch yourself get some referrals. You can get referrals. You don't always have to just like turn everybody you talk to into a client, but everybody you talk to could be a, re a referral source for you. So you wanna put yourself out there knowing who you're talking to and trust me, just borrow my belief. If you know my system and the belief loan phenomenon, borrow my belief and just trust me that if you go try this and you do it consistently and you track this, don't even just, don't even take my word for it, but track it. If you go track it, you will find that you'll get more referrals and more people curious and interested about working to work with you if you do it this way versus casting this wide net. So I know you're concerned about limiting yourself. I understand everybody has an objection, but I can't tell you enough how many people go do this and then get better results. Can we, can you come up for a sec, Jen? Yes, Jen. Okay, can you, cause they're not, they wanna listen to me, but they also don't believe me cause you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell them this. They think that it's accurate, but they also have, they're, they're skeptical, right? Like Linda here. So tell them what you just learned and if you could be specific about the postcards that went out. And this is someone who's, by the way, done paid marketing and what result you got when you weren't as tight, tightly niched and clear about your target market versus what you did when you were very clear about who you were talking to and the result that you got. Okay, awesome. And, and to be completely clear, I thought I knew our target market. I knew the demographics. I knew the age they were. I, um, I knew exactly what we were looking for. We do retirement planning. And so when she said, who's your target client or your ideal client, I said, well, there's somebody who is either going to retire in five to 10 years or has already retired and they're between age 55 and 70. The problem was, is I wasn't really, really knowing who my target client was. And so we spent $2,500 on a mailer that was super pretty. And I was really proud of it because it said all the industry buzzwords, but it sounded like everything else they get in the mail. And so from that mailer, we literally got zero, not one response. Um, very disheartening, discouraging. Plus it was $2,500 out the door. And so Robin um, nicely told us, blah, blah, blah. You're saying the same thing everybody else is. And she helped us really identify what are our clients' frustrations? What are their concerns? What are their challenges? FCC. Um, and what we did is we created a mailer that spoke specifically to that. And um, with that, we got result for an upcoming event that we're having where we're gonna have, I think, 26 people attend. So we have an opportunity to- so far. So far, could get more people ready. that's right. So um, we are going to be in front of 26 people that we can potentially help because we learn to communicate in a way that that speaks to them. Awesome. And my guess is we'll come back with a stat someday, but my guess is that will equal at least five to ten grand in your business, if not more. Absolutely. And we yeah. have, you know, we have the proof. Started with zero. They sent. I actually spent twenty-five hundred dollars on mailers, and they got zero response. And then you didn't even spend money the second time. You came to me, got clear on the messaging, didn't spend money, used her warm market, which she barely had. Come over here. So she, you're, you're drifting for me here. Um, she barely even had a warm market. They just moved into this new place, and still got twenty-six people to sign up for this because not was it not only was it targeted but you also were clear about your messaging. So sometimes people are like, oh yeah, I know who my ideal demographic is or my target market is, but then you're not marketing your message. So it's one thing to know who it is. It's another thing to make sure you're deep and clear on those, those challenges and problems that they're having so you communicate to them and how you're gonna solve it so that they wanna come and meet with you and then probably work with you. Awesome, give her a big hand. Thank you.